Brother, I made jokes about it, but uh, maybe maybe Deku is the villain now. Welcome back to the channel. We have episode 136 of our MHA watch today called Deku versus Class A. I only say that because of the title, but there's no way he's actually going to force them to fight him, right? I mean, I didn't, I didn't think he would go silently into the night, but still. We're going to hop right into it. Only two left in the season after this one. If you knew the channel, drop a sub and let's get started. I like the how All Might statue is behind them, too. Back to stain, I think that's what the, this is from. He brought the receipts, baby. The memory, the flashback receipts. It just looks like an animal. Or he'll just try to dip because yeah, he's not gonna want to have to fight them, but the title kind of implies it. Maybe it's technically them versus him because he's he just uh, disagrees, he doesn't want them here, he doesn't want to come back. Koda just sending birds after Deku? Oh my god. Bro can use his tape on Black Whip? Oh, he kind of put, like, he gave him how to do it. Like, I guess it is sort of a similar technique. I like how it's all of them. Each having a sort of moment, just showing him what the impact that he had on them. Aww. If they can't physically get to him, they'll emotionally get to him. I understand it's trying to give each of them a moment, but I don't feel as connected to every student the same, which I don't think I'm supposed to, but some of them have definitely had more development and emotional stake than others. Just sees everything that uh, happened in the first half of the season all for naught. My God! Maybe he does end up uh, uh, having the fight back. <laughs> That's interesting leverage. Someone else can make Aerie the candy apples. Oh my! What they just lock him down with? God dang, Momo! Oh. And it's gonna come to a head eventually. I feel like he's gonna hurt one of them and it's gonna change things very drastically. I don't want it to happen, but... Oh my, yeah, I was about to say. Oh, that's actually kind of sick. I guess it's showing all those moments he had with characters that we got to see. Ragnarok? Oh my god! Locks him in. Uh, they're all stronger because of him. Take a bath. Oh no, he's overheating. They are not strong enough to hold him back, man. Deku's different now. He kind of looks like Doc Ock with his arms at the tape. <gasps> it fell off. Just don't want them to get hurt. Oh my! I was wondering, wondering where the rest of them were. The ones he's even closer to, like Todoroki. I don't know if it's a dumb pet peeve or not. I feel like by now, they they don't need to show the quirk anymore. It's kind of just like a style thing. I know they know that we haven't forgotten, but still. They all got to get their word in. He knows that this is something that they all had to just be together for, yeah. They kind of do make a good argument that he's inherently like leaving them defenseless too by being out here and not with everyone. They're weaker apart. It's like uh, All For One's poisoned Deku's mind. Not just that, but like the goal. And that's why All Might feels guilty. He's not completely wrong. They can. Dude! Has it been a minute since we've heard? Is it you say run? Oh, here's Mineta. Here we go. He actually got him! Good times. What would Mineta do if he actually pulled himself all the way to Deku? What then? Oh, that's dope! Vajin is just dope. I, I, I like just, just the application of it. Oh, here we go! Oh, she couldn't catch him. I thought it was going to be like a parallel to the, the training last season. Yo! They're going to train track! What? My god, they're all, oh my! It's beautiful. Well, then she's going to have them float. They're going into the stratosphere! They just want to fight next to him, not above or below. God, dude, there's one thing I really do like about MHA. It's the voice acting. Just just certain ones like Bakugo and Todoroki's are for sure standouts. 
After this case, sending Todoroki. Oh! Ida! He's the ace in the hole! Bro, Ida is like ripping apart trying to keep up. This shows you how stupidly fast Deku's going. Friends. You say run, baby. Mobile change is mine. Nothing. He's taking the name. That's so sweet. Oh my gosh. Didn't he say like he wouldn't take it until he knew he was strong enough or he knew he was ready for it or just kind of the whole mantra? Oh my God. It made Bakugo's name his new name. Oh my God. He actually collapsed. Yeah, now what? That's what I'm asking. There's no way he's just going to catch them. <laughs> okay. He had his moment. He was there. I don't know if they showed him originally. I don't remember that. I wanted one of them to be like, Midori, remember when you lent me a pencil? That changed everything. And they're all there. He's not going to say yes, I don't think. I don't know if they could change his mind. Wow, I don't think I've ever heard Bakugo speak that softly. Holy. He did say he moved on his own. He's saying this in front of everyone, too. Hmm. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> wow. He just didn't want them to believe that they could. God damn. <sighs> yeah, for real. I didn't think they could get to him. Not in any sense. But I'm glad they did because, I don't know, the dynamic just... I'm, I'm glad. I want them to be included. Oh my gosh! Have we ever seen her face? His face? What a random reveal. Kind of like my hair, but in reverse. Whoa. Holy! We are going to goddamn attack on Titan! This is so apocalyptic. The system. Combine. They came and got him, man. Oh, people. Citizens. <sighs> oh. Oh, little Deku! <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Kind of like, like, who delivers the mailman's mail. Kind of. That was a very, I mean, I want to say surprisingly emotional episode. Maybe I should have seen it coming since they were literally confronting him, trying to bring him back. But wow, that was a, that was so powerful, man. Just that entire conversation with, with Bakugo where, he, like I said, has he ever spoken that calmly? Yeah, he's talked regularly before, like not screaming, but he dropped himself to a level I have never seen in my life before. And it was really good to see because I feel like near the beginning of the season, it was trying to have some development for Bakugo, especially leading up to him taking the hit for Deku. Whenever he took the hit for Deku, I don't think it hit that hard because they hadn't had many moments. Like, I mean, they've had moments, of course, especially like when they fought and All Might had to stop them. But I think this season, if nothing else, has developed Deku and Bakugo's relationship like tenfold. And like I said, bringing in the rest of the class because while I guess I did enjoy his time just with the other pro heroes, I think just abandoning the class as part of the storyline would be a mistake. Because as we've seen, we've, we've gotten to know them so well over the years. I mean, not all of them the exact same way. But still, guys, that's been it for episode 136 for our MHA watch through. Only two more left in the season. If you need the channel, drop a sub, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace, peace.